Giannis is secretly one of the best pick and roll weapons in the entire NBA, and I'm not talking about as a roller. Due to his unique combination of abilities, he's able to put defenses in impossible situations as a ball handler receiving a screen. According to Synergy, he averages 1.025 points per possession as a ball handler in pick and roll situations. That ranks in the 88th percentile. This is a two part video where we'll examine his ability to score in this video and his ability to pass out of the pick and roll in the next one. When the traditional big man sets a screen for Giannis, the defense is put into a difficult spot. Most 7-footers aren't able to keep up with a Greek freak, especially when he has a head of steam and is rolling downhill. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. The Bucks clear out a whole side for this ball screen as John Henson goes to set a pick toward the cleared out corner. Brogdon is on the weak side wing with Snell in the corner and DiVincenzo in the dunker spot. However, as the play progresses, Snell will slide over and DiVincenzo will go into the corner to provide maximum space. The Kings defenders are well aware of what's going on. Buddy Heald completely abandons his man and slides into the middle of the lane. Fortunately, he is very undisciplined and allows Giannis to slice right past him for the layup. Furthermore, because Henson sets the screen so high, Giannis is able to get a running start and blow right past Kufos. This allows him to get the head start and squeeze through the help defender the Kings sent in the lane. Here's another look the Bucks use when setting the traditional screen for Giannis, but this time the defense switches instead. As Giannis is bringing the ball up, he's calling out the play. This sends his teammate into a 4-low, 1-high formation. However, once the ball begins to get toward the paint, DiVincenzo will slide to the weak side wing and Brogdon will drop to the corner. The Bulls switch the ball screen, but Giannis is able to blow right past the bad Lopez and lay the ball in the hoop. The Bucks also use guards to set the screen, and that's a look I really want to show you. It's an inverse of what we normally see, but it creates a huge advantage for Milwaukee. For starters, guards aren't used to defending the person setting the ball screen, and bigs aren't used to defending the ball handler. Even though that's becoming more common in today's NBA, it still puts them in a position they don't see very often. Here, George Hill does a great job setting the screen and gets both defenders caught up. Brogdon's placement in the corner is also very important. His man isn't able to completely help, otherwise he'd give up an open three in the corner. Cantor is also late to helping and Giannis takes two large steps into the lane and rolls the ball in the basket for two points. Lastly, look at where this screen is set. When the bigs are setting the screen for Giannis, they are above the three-point line. Here, Hill sets the pick at the elbow. This allows Giannis to get a running start like before and gives the big man less room to recover. The ball screen is also dependent on where the defender is playing Giannis at the time. On this play, Hill sets another tremendous screen, this time on Kenneth Fareed. Giannis uses a nifty behind the back dribble to slice into the lane, followed by a Euro step and a go go gadget arm layup. Head coach Mike Boonholzer also calls a lot of ball screens for Giannis on sidelines out of bounds plays. On these sets, he can either call for a big or a guard to set the screen, and each produces positive results.
With Giannis as a ball handler, the Bucks can open a lot of doors moving forward. His skills have quickly developed in this area, and he's a great decision maker in prescribed situations like this. You should expect to see a lot more of this as the season wears on.